Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I want to show you the right way to use fresh grass clippings as a garden mulch. Whole key, do this on a sunny day that's warm because you want the grass to actually dry out brown and just be a nice layer of mulch on here. You don't want it to be thick. You don't want this to start composting down and heating up. It will damage your plants. So how do you do it? You don't do this. You don't want something like that, a big pile. Drop it down and you actually just really want to fluff it up so that air can go through there, the sun can beat down on it. And that's not even a half an inch. Half an inch at most. Let this dry down till it's brown and then you can put in another half inch or so. And it will create a nice layer of mulch that will keep moisture in. Those are my squash plants right in there. I don't want to use bark mulch or wood mulch around my squash plants because it becomes a haven for insects and squash bugs. This will actually dry, mat down, keep the moisture in, and it's less likely those squash bugs will be in there. Let me show you how I use it on my tomato plants. So one of the keys to really having healthy tomato plants getting a great harvest is to maintain consistent moisture across your planting bed. And this holds true for most of your vegetables that you're growing because they send out surface roots. The sun beating down on just the soil right now is drying them out, drying the soil out, drying the roots out. You have to water more, water evaporates quickly. So just use your green grass. Again, you want it to be loose so air goes through and just put it down something like that. And then you just work it around the plant. If you're just doing a half an inch, it's fine. It can contact right in there. But you don't want a big mound of grass on here because it will actually heat up like it's composting down and it will damage your plant. And I would do that, you know, for this entire bed because I have in my four tomato plants right now. I'm just going to go do that bed real quick, show you what it looks like, and we'll be done. This whole bed was watered yesterday and it's 85 today. So the whole top is starting to dry out. The grass clippings take care of that. The other way that you can do it, so if you just hold these up really high and just shake them down, they're gonna be nice and loose and they're gonna dry. And again, the goal is to have these dry brown. They're just gonna be a mulch. They're not gonna decompose right now. They'll be great to turn into your soil in the fall or in the early spring, but just something like that. Grass clippings are the cheapest and really most effective way, in my opinion, to mulch your garden beds. You can add more every week as long as the grass that you put down is completely dried, everything is brown, it looks like straw. This is not going to decompose and break down over the summer and feed your plants now, but when you turn it into the soil in fall and spring, it will give back to the garden. Make sure if you're using grass clippings, you haven't Make sure if you're using the grass clippings, you didn't spray anything on your lawn to control weeds or anything like that because the residue will harm your plants. And a lot of times when you see tomato plants curl or have curled tips or curled leaves, that's because there's some sort of weed killer in the grass clippings when people use that. Thanks so much for watching and please use your grass clippings like this. It's gonna conserve water, your plants will be happy, the soil stays cool, soil stays moist, your plants will do really, really well. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.